Hello and welcome back to LPs, LPs. I am LP and today we're continuing our LP of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last episode we got things started here at Snowhead Temple. Uh, we didn't make a huge amount of progress, but I feel like we're close to halfway. I don't know, this episode I have every intention of beating this temple. Highly a willing. Uh, we, we shall see. We still haven't yet gotten the item in this dungeon, which as I understand it is the fire arrows? But they gotta be coming pretty soon here. We also have made a little bit of progress with the fairies. I should double check that just to be certain. We have 4 of 15, so maybe not a huge amount of progress. We're not even one third of the way there, but hey, some progress is better than no progress. And when we're trying to do a 100% uh, run, I'll take anything that I can get. Gosh darn it. Uh, ooh, so we could launch over this direction too, or we can go behind us. I'm actually, I'm just going to stick behind us because God knows that the possibility of me falling is quite high and I'd much rather uh, deal with this rather than have to uh, climb up. Actually though, before I do that, can we shoot an arrow from here into any ice? Is that possible? Mm. No, why is this fire here? I'm curious, what do they want us to, to melt with it? It's got to be for something. I don't know. We'll, we'll check it out later if we have to, but we'll go through here for now. And ah yes, the Freezered. Hello. Oh, you cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice my health. Uh, we don't even have anything we can do here. We were down in this room last episode. Pikachu's cousin down there, uh, filled with rabies. We need the fire arrows to deal with that, so we'll have to revisit this at a later date. Well, Probably not a later date, <laughs> probably this exact date, but a later time. And I guess the only thing left to do here is to launch over this opening. If we can build up enough speed and stay on the path, barely. Goodness gracious, the uh, the room for error is not, not very large. Uh, it's very easy to, to fall here. And as I mentioned last episode, this area is not as large as I had once remembered it, right? When I first played through this as an eight, nine year old child. It was kind of uh, intimidating in a way. It's like, oh my god, this place is huge. How will I ever hope to explore it all? But now it's now it's just regular huge. And what are these buddies? Are these whiz robes? Are these Majora's Masks iteration of whiz robes? They look like decrepit old men. Where are you at? Oh, come now. Target so I can talk to you. Yep, it's a whiz robe. You'll get your chance right when it starts to attack. Be on the lookout for it and don the mask. Not at all what I wanted to do, but we'll run around to avoid its attack. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Now we can just take it off. I had wanted to use the bow and arrow. Eat it, dude. How do you like them apples, huh? Getting poked by an arrow, you're about as thick as an arrow too. Goodness gracious. Lord knows they are not feeding you enough here in the uh, Snowhead Temple. But how could they, right? Like, what is there to even eat here? How are you existing? Probably just based off of pure hate. I have a bad habit of pressing the wrong C button. In fact, it's not actually a C button at all because I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch. I'm using the right analog stick, and I have a bad habit of, of flicking that in the inappropriate direction. Oh, God. Looks like Grandpa's gotten into the coffee again. I told you you'd need to stick to decaf, old man. Oh, my giblets. Do we still have enough time? Oh, barely. He got us, we got him. It's fine. We, we're still freezing. Where are you at? You're, well, we're cold again. We're cold again. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. This is actually a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. Where are you at? Gotcha. <laughs> it would seem that uh, the Z-targeting is not going to work as well as I want it to. Woo-wee! That's the end of you, Grandpa. We're putting you in a home. And by home, I mean six feet under. Now, this is potentially the item, which I expect to be the fire arrows. So I'm pretty excited. Let's kick this crate open and see what's inside. Yes! You got the fire arrow. Set it to C to power up your arrows. Things will heat up when they hit. Mmm. But now we can melt all of the ice that's plaguing this place. 
Uh, I guess we probably have to do another jump over. Uh, which means donning the Goron Mask once more. I quite enjoy the Goron Mask, though. Uh, if you've played Majora's Mask before, you know that there is a wealth of different masks with various different powers, and they're all uh, awesome and appropriate in their own specific circumstances. But I think I like the Goron Mask potentially most of all just for the traveling ability, right? Like rolling around, turning a field, jumping off of friggin' logs. It's a, it's a good experience, all right? And when you can protrude spikes from your body as well, it makes it something of an offensive maneuver. What can beat it? What can beat it? I mean, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Maybe I'll find other masks that I appreciate a little bit more. This is just uh, a recollection from when I had played it. And I haven't played this game in like, mm, 20 years? Maybe? I mean, maybe a little bit less. Maybe closer to, like, 18 or 17 years. I mean, I have, like, played it. I picked it up here and there briefly. Uh, like, when it first came out on Nintendo Switch Online, I created a file and didn't really progress any at all. I don't think I even went to the first temple. But what I'm getting at here is that, yeah, I haven't played this with any level of depth since, like, 2004, 2005. And it's amazing, to me at least, that I remember as much as I do about this. <laughs> it's all muscle memory, baby. I mean, the Legend of Zelda series, I mean, the franchise itself is my favorite without a doubt. It's not even close. I mean, I say that. Maybe it is a little close. Maybe Mario is close. But Zelda still takes the cake. Can we melt these? We can break through them. I don't know if this is what we want or need to do. It's wasting a lot of magic, God knows. Yeah, because there's no, like, ramp here. We can't do anything about this. Uh, do we even... We don't even have a key to go to the right down here. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'm going to go to the right anyways. Just to see what we can see over here. Is there anything different? Is this point of view, this vantage point offering anything else in the way of assistance? No, it would seem... Not. Uh, I'm going to drop down, I believe, then, because there were some things down below that could be melted. Ooh. <laughs> I meant to do that, clearly, of course. Uh, this is not going to work. We need to climb back out up this pit. Where is our next fall target? Um, I'd like to, I guess, just go over this. It's going to make me backflip. Perfect. Let's melt the green door. And I think I think there's more. Let me take a quick look around. Yeah, there's one over there as well. Another green door. So this is not the green door. This is just a green door. And hey, here is another room that we were in prior. Uh, we could fall down below, I think. Yeah. Yep, we sure could fall down below. And uh, No, don't you go spraying me. Don't go freezing my heart. You could, if you tried. <laughs> so please don't. It very much hurts. And I guess we're going to have to light all of these, potentially for a fairy. I'm not certain what it'll be for, a fairy or a key. We need both, really. We need more, more fairies than we need keys, to be honest with you. But I will take either. And there is another melty place there. That might actually be the other green door that we saw in the main chamber. The way that's lined up kind of leads me to believe that. So lighting these might actually only give us access to that barred door there. Is this, is this like super effective against you? Oh, it is. Goodness gracious. That boy melted like a popsicle on the 4th of July. Let's jump over here and check out our chest because killing them gave us the chest. Is this a fairy? Oh, it is indeed. That's a fifth or a fifth of fairy. We're one third the way done. And since we're here, we might as well melt this. Uh, this is probably going to stick into the ground. Yeah, I thought so. Got to sneak up a little bit closer to the edge there. That'll do it. Perfect. And I think that's just there for us to uh, ascend back up if we fall down there, so I'm not too worried about checking that out. I am, however, worried about opening up these pots. I am Link, 
You're not allowed to have ceramic ware. Anywhere near me, I have a disorder, and it causes me to involuntarily destroy ceramics. Yeah, it's quite sad. I failed my high school art class because of it. Uh, there's another one. A little higher. Running out of magic very freaking quickly, though. Maybe I should have lit one and ran around with a Deku stick, but this worked out just as well. I'm going to have the camera back over here. Okie dokie. Goodness me. Goodness me. Not a whole lot for Link to grab on there, there, but he has four arms of freaking steel. He can lift his own body weight with just his pinkies. This is obviously another pound button, so let's bounce our little forehead against it once more. Ooh, and the spire rises to the heavens. And the switch below us raises, I have to imagine that switch will send that back down, like the spire itself. Uh, but we don't want to do that, I don't think. I don't actually know for certain. I think that we want to ascend, and then eventually as Goron Link, we will be punching out layers of it so that it drops down to the uh, appropriate height for us to, you know, do do the whole thing here. And so what... Mmm, goodness. It's actually a little bit difficult to maneuver here now. What do we want to do? I want to go back to the main room or the room to the right. How do I get over there? Where am I? Um, I can't. I want to get over that direction. Well, I guess I could go over here, right? No? Could I? Is it this one? This one will take me there. This one takes me to the entrance. There's a wolf host. Yep, very nice. Good to see you. Then we'll go left. Because there are some things for us to thaw out over here. Well, there we go. Melting that does what? I don't know. It says there's a chest over there. Do we need the lens of truth to see it, or do we need to kill all of the freezards in here? Yeah, maybe we have to kill all the freezards. Look, the fairy still exists. The fairy persists right there. I tried to shoot that fairy out of their bubbly prison last episode. We'll see if it does it again. Whoa! What was that? Oh, my giblets. Look at that! Okay, so it wasn't just a mistake on my part. Fascinating. Well, let's kill all of these dudes real quick. Uh, and maybe that'll cause the chest to spawn. And I don't... Mm, Maybe we'll have to go over somewhere else in this room to actually end up popping that bubble. Eliminating the Freezers did, in fact, spawn a chest. Delightful. Well, this is a job for Goron Link. He got the uh, the big spins. Let's get back here real quick. I'll actually have to pop something, some snow open. Yeah. Got to remagify myself. Thank you. Very good. Uh, oh, can we... All right, now prepare for takeoff. Three, two, one. Oh, we're missing. We're missing. No goodness me. Where are we at? We're actually probably potentially okay, right? I have no idea how we would go about getting back up there. Well, we can walk through lava. Is Goron Link? Can't we? Can't we? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh well, this works out just as well because this is probably open here. It is. Come to me, baby. You belong to me. Where'd you go? Where are you? There you are. That's six. Now Goron Link away. Beautiful. Let's get a little bit more uh, replenishment here. Uh, unfortunately, no arrows. Thankfully, we already have the largest quiver, so we have a, uh, a decent amount still having used plenty. Honestly, the thing I'm most concerned about at this point is running out of magic. It's like six fire arrows worth of magic that we currently have. I think the reward for this dungeon Stray Fairies is an enhanced magical bar. So, you know, just not that we needed any extra incentive to, to get the fairies we were already going to. But it just adds a... Gosh darn it! You know, it's funny. I mentioned this is my favorite power for this exact reason. And it takes me like seven tries to hop across this freaking gap. But we made it. We made it, okay? No, don't complain too much now, LP. We get to open the chest, which is... 
A key? Okay, well that's exceedingly important. We do need that. I was hoping for a fairy because I still feel like we don't have enough fairies, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, I guess we're going that way. I did not touch the control stick. That was wild. The, uh, the door just swallowed me up and pushed me that direction. Oh, that's frozen again. Well, let's... I didn't want to go this way anyways. I want to check out a little bit of the lower level and then as well as this side of the main chamber just to see if there's any more freezy pops for me to melt. Because if there are, they potentially will be filled with fairies. And I need my fairies, dude. I've only got six out of 15. We've got like 39% of the fairies in this place. Let's get some magic. Let's get some arrows. Magic? Magic? Can we have some magic? Money. Money. I'm getting everything but magic. There we go. That's what the doctor ordered. I'm filling my prescription. I've got a fever and the only prescription. It's not cowbell. No, it's... It's magic. Okay, so there isn't really anything else here. We can take this all the way back up, though. Might as well. It's been a hot minute since I've been a plant boy. And maybe I'll see something once I get up here that I was not previously aware of. Let's take a second to look around. Any fairies or wasps nest or anything just kind of idling by? No, it would appear not. It's just as well. Over and upward and downward. Over and upward and exactly hereward. Now we can go back up where the key door is. Well, this is not it. We'll go to the key door. Okay, uh, we didn't find the key door just yet. I'm actually kind of lost, but I did find my way back to this room, which does have some things for me to melt. It doesn't look like all of them are necessarily important to melt. Probably only this block here. But that's fine. I'm about to get smacked. <laughs> run, 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 run. And there's a switch as well. This one's probably pretty important. A Goron switch, of course, but a switch nonetheless. In fact, let's get out the Goron mask. Might do some, some puppy punching as well, but first I'm going to, to step on this. Okay, so that gives us a fairy. It has to be a fairy, right? Get out of my face! Alright, the Goron's probably not the best case for this. The spin move here. Because we could get both of them if they're in range. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, do we eliminate both of them? No, just the one. You're you're coming up next, Fido. Don't you worry. I have sharpened my blade for you. Delightful, don't you love it? Okay, now we are free to pull this beautiful... Okay, maybe not. Now we are free to pull this beautiful... Really? We have to push it. Oh my goodness, it's a slidey puzzle. Okay, I, 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 can, I can do this. I remember these. I've done a few of these in Pokemon games. There's one of these even in Ocarina of Time. I mean, they're it's a pretty common puzzle in a lot of different games. Honestly, it's a pretty fun puzzle too because it's a... Well, I don't want to say complicated. It's it's a good time. <laughs> that's, that's what matters. This is a good time. My control stick is not having a good time. I need a new Nintendo Switch controller. I am using a... Uh, a Legend of Zelda controller, actually, which is very appropriate, but it's getting old and the stick is not as responsive as it perhaps could be. Got a fairy. This is lucky number seven. Just about halfway there. Isn't that excellent? Okay, so we can push it as a link. It's good to know. Now I don't need to flip-flop back and forth with the mask action. And can we just place it right here? Is that good enough for us to hop up there? It's gotta be, right? Look at this. Perfect. Almost getting impaled by a couple of icicles. Oh, hey, and here's an, an, another potential fairy. And some possessed pottery. What is this, the spirit temple? Goodness gracious. They're fighting back. They're sick of being destroyed by Link. All right, we're over the hump, over halfway with the fairies, that is, and... I feel like we're well over halfway done with the dungeon, but hey, this is exactly what happened at Woodfall. 
where we, we got to the final room of Woodfall, and there was like 12 fairies inside of the final room. So I'm just going to trust that I have gotten all of the ones I need to, and we will continue moving forward. Uh, bar barring anything else, any sort of arrival at the boss door, I think we'll be fine. Oh, hey, we don't even have to play this game anymore. We can just melt that down. <laughs> Look at this. We're hot. And... Is, oh, this is actually, this is good. This is where we do the punching. Oh my god, and we almost run off the side. Boom, sliding one piece out. Sliding the other piece out. Delightful. Uh, now what? This is actually rather interesting. Um, what's down there? The fairy, Navi, seems rather interested in that. What could, we don't have like a scarecrow song or anything, and we don't have a hook shot. If I take this off, what if I just shoot those pots out with a regular arrow? I don't think that's going to appease the fairy. That's probably not what she's trying to get at. But hey, it, it makes me feel better. Oh no, we're we're shooting, we're we're shooting all willy nilly like. Let's be a little bit more purposeful here. Okay, I might have to move forward a little bit. Moist and arrows. There we go. All right, that didn't do the thing. What is the meaning of this? Why does she want us to go look at that? I guess there's nothing else for us to do. Can we make this jump? I freaking hope so. Whee! We did it! All right. What are you telling me? Oh, wait. Is there something for the lens of truth here? No. What is this, huh? What are you, what are you up in arms about over here? I think I accidentally called you Navi. You're definitely not Navi. Huh. Well, I don't know. Okay, here we are. We have ascended some level of height to reach this area, which it seems to be good. Uh, there, there's a punchable little, uh, what is this, a hexagon, an octagon in front of us. There's also one more below it that we can't quite reach. Well, can we? Yes, we can. We can, we can surf along the outside here and get to it. And that also takes us to the, the key door that we were looking for. So this was a win. We did it. We finally found our way. <laughs> it only took me like some amount of time that I'm not comfortable sharing with you. <laughs> well, we're here. It's fine. Can we like hop on top of this? Or no, we probably got to go back up there to go that direction. It's fine. We'll deal with this first. What do we have here? That's an Eno. It's persistent and it's susceptible to heat. Yeah, you gonna get punched, little guys. I'm here and I am ready to end your lives. Where are you at? Where big little Emos here. Come on now, Elmo. Tickle me, Eno. I'll tickle your forehead with the pointy end of my fist. Is that all? Seems like that was all. We didn't get anything for that, which is interesting. They were just kind of here to act as, maybe not distractions, but obstacles. Because there's definitely a ice wall over there, this direction that we need to go through. But I was hoping that maybe we'd get like a fairy out of them or something. Maybe inside one of these snowballs, perhaps? Magic, magic, magic. No, really nothing. What if I put the mask on? Nothing. Okay, well, I'm going to shoot down these icicles up here. Well, maybe not. Maybe they'll fall on top of me. Oh, they're regrowing. How pervasive. Fine. We will continue forward. Blasting this. Melting it, whatever. Getting through it. And going up. Mmm. A Dinophos. Two Dinophos! Yeah, the spin attacks do you harm, goodness, and your nacho cheese banana bread breath does me harm. Goodness grace. It smells disgusting there, Chungus. I'm gonna have to talk to your mother and she's gonna brush your teeth. Are you trying to leave or what? Come on. Well, I got a fairy. 
I got two fairies. Did each of them have fairies? <laughs> Where did the fairies come from? I have no idea, but I'll take it. I'll take it. That's, what is that, nine? Ten! Ten! 66.66 endless percent away there. Is there anything else in here? This room seems interestingly structured. It makes me worry that I'm missing something, perhaps, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So we'll continue on through the only available door. Oh, this brings us up here. How do? How could I ever hope to get over there? It's impossible. Maybe I shouldn't have punched those freaking things out? But it would only be two up here. How? 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 But why? Maybe I need to jump down and then go that direction and then... I'll pop out over here probably and then I can... Well, oh, I don't know. That's gonna be challenging. That's all I have. I probably could have done this a little bit better if I didn't punch out the octagons. But it's in my nature. Who am I to deny Link his destructive habits, all right? I'm I'm no I'm no moderator, I'm no therapist. I can't I can't say with any level of authority what he should or shouldn't do and he felt compelled to do it. So here we are. Oh man. Oh no, there's a Deku flower over there. Excellent. Well, we're going to go downstairs real quick first, but... Link, you know, he's, he's sporting a little bit of a beer belly here. He wants to get his steps in. It's fine, I understand. It's summer's coming, buddy. Get that body bikini ready. All right, we'll launch over here, and then we'll decuize ourselves And float down. That's exceptionally convenient. It's almost as if, almost as if the game designers... Expected us to do this. Yeah, imagine that, huh? Imagine the game designers knowing what they were doing. All right, that that is the way. And there's our shadow. Get rid of this. We probably will need Goron. Instead, we'll throw this. That is not the mask I wanted to put on. I want to put on my beauty face. All right, I'm going out tonight, and I need to look hot. Is there anything inside of these? Anything? Nothing great. What's in there? Oh, there's the master key. The boss key, as it were. There's also a door into it, so I have to imagine that's where we're going if we head through here. Oh, more piss robes. Great. Great, great, great. Thankfully, they're not too difficult. Uh, they, only, they only actually get difficult once they start doing their little sprinting maneuvers. So, come on. Oh. You, you play tricks on me, I play tricks on you, booby. You coming up here? See you later. All right, now where are you going next? Over here, huh? No, sorry, Grandpa. You shouldn't be pissing your robes, all right? They call you a whiz robe. And that is not really the, uh, the best name in the world. <laughs> it probably speaks to your habits, I have to imagine. Uh... uh... Oh, my Jiminy Christmas, I've been accosted. All right, let's... This guy right here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there's probably a better way to do this. What if we just hit him with the sword? And we go up here and hit you with the sword. What if we turn around? Did we hit him? I feel like we should have at that point. Oh, hey. How kind of you to, to step right up in my face like that. Now you're over here. I'll shoot you again. You next to us? Uh, no, you're over here. And I am pressing the wrong C button again. God knows I do that far more often than I should. Let me line up this shot. Beautiful! So sorry, Grandpa. We'll get you diapers next time, and maybe they'll stop calling you a whiz robe. Can't imagine it's very flattering. It's probably not good for your self-confidence, and it's probably playing a hand. And why you're so gosh darn offensive. Fairies? Fairies? No fairies! We're missing five of them and we're about to get the friggin' boss key. Oh, we mm, I think we're missing some. Might have to consult the oracle, and by oracle I mean the player's guide. <laughs> uh, hopefully that's not the case, though. I really don't want to have to do that, but I'm not going to... Uh, well, I'm not going to just go beat the boss without 
not having all the fairies, right? Like, that doesn't make any sense. So how are we meant to get back up there? There's not a uh, Deku flower over here. I guess we could just jump down and ride back up. Can we do that? Uh, yeah. So if we go through that door, where does that take us? It directly takes us to the boss. So we have, we have missed some fairies. Okay, so I'm combing this dungeon. I have not yet resorted to consulting the Oracle, AKA the player's guide, but I've come back to this room and this looks curious to me. So I'm about to do a thing and you're gonna see if I am crazy. I'm not crazy. It changes, look at that, in fact, Boom. Beautiful. Come to me, my child. Excellent. You got a stray fairy. All right, so I've been going up and down. Well, actually, I've only been going down. I made my way from the fourth floor to the third floor, and I'm just combing every single layer. And obviously, this is the only room on the third floor, so I'm going to go see you now on the second floor. Okay, so again, looking around, looking... My giblets. My giblets. I swear, I'm perceptive. How do I even... It's got to be Lens of Truth, right? I guess it makes sense. We got the Lens of Truth right prior to this, so it, yeah, it would make complete sense that uh, it's kind of an item you're going to want to use here. I don't know. I have... Wow, these are not exactly the largest platforms. Good thing Link's a size freaking four shoe, otherwise we'd be flip-flopping away. I've got like subway footlongs for feet. I would not do anywhere near as well. Oh goodness, nearly, nearly missed it there, but we made it. That is 12, we're missing three. Is there any, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is there any more? I don't know, I think, I think we're good. Let's get out of this, let's whip open the map once more. And we see that there are a couple of chests. Those have to be fairies. There's no freaking way that they're not. Uh, so let's see, which way do we need to go to get to them? We need to go back up actually to get to one of them. It's in the main chamber. And it's, it's of course going to be Lens of Truth based, right? Like there's no way it's not. I don't know why I didn't use that more often because I saw those, right? I saw those chests. I commented on that a number of times throughout the last couple of episodes of being here. And I, you know, I, <laughs> oh, I'm trying my best, gosh darn it, I'm trying my best. All right, so we got it all the way over here, and then some. It's in the corner, it seems. I don't think there's actually any platforms over there. Well, look at that. Where that snow is, probably, right? Yeah, of course. How the heck does one get over there? How, how do? How, how, how do? Okay, so it's it's down there. The only way I can think of getting to it is with this Deku flower, but oh, I don't like that at all. I do not like this at all. If only this was like Breath of the Wild where you had a friggin' paraglider and you could like cut the cord and whip it open. This is not, oh God. Am I far enough forward? I don't know. We're sputtering. We're getting ready to fall. Make sure we're in as good enough position as we can be. We are just floating down. I thought these like go away after a certain amount of time. Is it a distance thing that they go away? And you can actually just float down nice and pleasantly or is something glitching here? <laughs> Am I just getting unbelievably lucky? I, I don't know, but I guess I'm not complaining. It's just a little bit of a little bit of a time delay here. It's kind of adding almost unnecessary seconds to the LP, but it's fine. It's it's okay. Uh, you know, if people can people can skip ahead like half an hour or however long it's going to take us to descend another like 30 feet. We can kind of see the uh, the entrance to it though. You see that little line right below the clock. I think that's it. I'm afraid to move. I do need to move a little bit closer, but I'm actually nervous to do so because I don't want to lose my uh, my pedals here. Oh, golly gee williger, we're coming, we're coming down to it. Let's just push a little forward. 
Let's push up against the wall so that we like slide right into it as soon as we can. Oh, come on, man. Let me get in this wall, buddy. Let me get in this wall. The fairy's in there. Oh, the fairy's going down. The fairy's like, hey, there's something here. <laughs> there's something here. Look at this. Oh, we we did it. We did it. Wow. That, that had to be what they intended, but man, was that stressful. Oh, my goodness. 13. Two more. Two more fairies. Uh, obviously, one of them is still on the second floor, and one of them is God knows where. So I guess we'll go to get that chest next and we'll figure out the other one when we figure it out okay so we're here lens of truth lens of truth it's got to be it has to be in here right is this not where it's at let's double check the map real quick ah uh, over this direction perhaps maybe even down here actually nope there's only pose or boot bows I'm sorry, I forget the name of you guys. You're right annoying little buggers, and I, I should be more aware of, of who you are, but unfortunately that's not the case. So it should be over here. Over here somewhere. Like in between this room and the next one. So maybe, maybe we need to go over to the next one. Maybe that will have the answers we seek. Be to the left. Of course it is. Look at that. It's wherever those little, uh, that snow, whatever you want to call it, that icy glaze. We probably don't even need the lens of truth. Jesus, we're getting impaled. We'll probably just jump right over here. Beautiful. Can't, can't see. Okay, there's a chest. Perfect. We got to go on the other side of it. And there we have the 14th and second to last fairy. All right, this episode is getting pretty long in the tooth, so I'm just going to skip ahead to whenever I find that other fairy. I am going to scour the rest of this dungeon. I'm going to comb it head to toe. And it was in the very freaking room next over, the room I was just in. And I did not come right back in here because I was certain that I had checked this off the list. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, longest dungeon ever. But that's that. We freaking did it. Come to me, child. Come to me. You found all the stray fairies. Quick, take them to their fellow fairies of the same color. I will do that, but first, let's go beat the freaking boss. And there he is, the demon himself. Frozen, actually, so markedly less of a threat than you might expect. But his frozen nature can only last so long. You see, we are a hero, yes, but we're also a curious young lad. We see a giant demonic goat frozen encased in ice. Naturally, we're going to do everything we can to release it. Release it so that we can kill the masked mechanical monster, aptly named... Goat. Goat? Goat! And if I remember correctly, what we need to do to eliminate this beast is race behind him as Goron Link. Yeah, we need to uh, to get our spikes, dig them into his delicate backside, or even his underbelly, just like this. This works. We took a little bit of damage there. I'm not actually certain how. But it's fine. Uh, the game lays out a ton of jars for us. Most of these are obviously housing magic, so that we can, you know, keep a <laughs> keep kicking here. But there's plenty of ones on the interior for things like health. I'm not certain that we'll even need it. I don't know how many more times we need to rub our spiky body against this beast, but it can't be too many more times. I don't even know that there's a uh, like a phase difference to this. Eventually, I think he starts. Oh, there it is. I was say eventually, I think he starts spitting out electricity at us. But I don't. I don't know that there's anything else. Just rub him right, right in the the cheeks. Don't you love it, goat? Don't you just love it? Yes, I know you probably don't love it, but it's fine. This will all be over with soon. You're smoking already, buddy. This is a non-smoking boss room. How dare you? There are children present. Me. We'll have to make him pay for that. Oops, I lost some spikes. There we go. The spikes have returned. We're coming for you. He is 
bringing down the place. So maybe there is a certain phase aspect of it. It's just not necessarily what I think of when I think of phased boss fights. I think of like the triggering of a mini cutscene or something. It's like, oh goodness gracious, it's not even his final form. Instead, this guy just keeps on like changing things with the map. Uh, you see he's spitting out bombs as well. Get in the, get in the booty, get in the booty. Just keep rubbing, it's fine. And that's it. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was really quick and relatively painless as well. I think we lost a total of like a heart and a half. Exceptionally efficient after an incredibly inefficient journey through the temple itself. Look at that, we didn't even lose a heart and a half. We lost one heart in total. Where are you? There you are. There's our prize, our seventh heart container. Delightful. Maximum life energy is increased by one, and we are going to warp out and go do all the things that happen after the boss fight, but we're going to actually have to do that next time because this has been a long episode. So thank you so much for sticking around for it, and I will see you then.